Yo right, lads, welcome back, episode 33, Jogster Glory. Uh, returning today, Charlton in the Carabao Cup on the back of a really tough start to our second season in the Premier League. Going to try and get through to mid-November today if we can, so loads to get through, let's jump right in. Charlton, Carabao Cup, first game today. Go on, mate, away you go, away you go. Have a dig. Oh, man. Cheers, Kimura, yes. First game for Kimura's pro, love to see it. And again, Kimura, yes! I'm gonna love this little art command, the Kimura bros. Oh, we thought we'd be doing better than this. Even with a backup side out there. God damn. It's the cursed orange kits, man. Lost both of my away games wearing them. I'm gonna lose three on the trot here. Man, this has been such a tough start to the season, honestly. Gotta finish that, Hassan. There we go. Well, we'll force a shootout, but even so, this has been poor, man. Actually, we might win this here. We might win this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought it was going to come across, all right? Oh, the OG! The OG! What a winner, right at the death. Late comeback. Blush is spared. Nail is sending us through to the next round of cup. First we were the Tiger Kits as well. I thought they were cursed. Right, I got the Red Devils in the next round. So despite the late winner, can't see us getting any further than that one. Right, following game, Palace away at Selhurst Park. We lost both our away days in the Premier League so far. Let's see if we can make it third times a charm. Saw a good comment on the season opener, by the way, saying why don't you let your subs pick the third kit for, uh, for the new season. Great idea. Um, only problem is, like, I don't know how I'm going to do that for the timing. But I guess what I'll say today is if you've got any ideas for a third kit moving forward, what a ball oh, um, with uh, a Nike branding, then uh, if you send me a tweet, there's a link to my Twitter in the description um, with the third kit design, um, I'll, I'll definitely consider some for the, uh, for the new season. Lancaster, Pat. Oh, that is brilliant, man. First time, keep slightly off his line. Perfect trajectory. Man, this dude's on fire. Six in six. Read you a nice little time through ball, but a finish. First time. That's absolutely brilliant, man. This dude is feeling it. I don't know why I struggled with him so much at the start of last season, but this year, no problems at all. Six in a row. Well, not six in a row, technically, but six in as many games, I should say. Even so, dude is on fire right now. We love to see it. There's a chance here for a third, and that'll do it. Pat. Kimura. For the game. Oh, off the crossbar. I think you might have got a touch on that as well. Kimura is not the best finisher. I'm not going to lie. But um, he's a solid anchor, man. I love his boots as well. I can't, I can't tell you how much I love his shiny, pale blue boots. They look so nice. And that's a great one over top. This could be game here. I'd love to get Pat his first Premier League hat-trick. But he says Lancaster! How does he get his first of the season? Header. Shot horror. 80% of his goals are headers. Look at him just fly in, man. It's ridiculous. The only way this guy knows how to put the ball in the back and nettles with his head. It's just crazy. During a few episodes ago, I was talking about who I believe the uh, the best header of a football in history is. I, I think I'm going to change my mind. Cristiano Ronaldo? Nah. Reggie Lancaster. Oh, go on, Pat. First hat-trick of the season. Oh. Should have had it. No, don't throw in a clean sheet. Oh, god damn. I hate throwing away clean sheets late on. It's kind of meaningless, but it's just so annoying. Still, we'll have it. First away day victory in the league this season. First back-to-back -back wins in all competitions. Tough start. Hopefully this is the catalyst for a good run. Right, next up, Monday Night Football. Back home, West Ham. If we want to be in Europe next season, these games have got to be bankers. No exception. Do you remember Fabio and Rafael De Silva? Does anyone know where they're playing now? If you do, can you let me know in the comments? Because I've got to be honest here. I've got absolutely no idea. They might have been retired thinking about it. But uh, what are they now? Mid-30s, maybe? Early mid-30s? But um, I've got no idea where they are now. They got like caps for Brazil, like super, super young. I don't think they ever got any more caps after that. I'm pretty sure. I think it was Raphael went to uh, France for a bit. I think Fabio played for Cardiff as well. Crazy. I don't know why it's just come to mind, but still. I just think about football brothers, you know, because now we've got the Kimura brothers. 
Um, obviously, you know, Gary and, and Phil, that's who Manchester United fans have been hoping that Fabio and Raphael would have been turned into. Obviously, uh, oh, good save, Mendes. Fabio went on to, uh, sorry, Phil <laughs> went on to play for Everton uh, for the remainder of his career. Did a good job there as well, to be fair, under David Moyes. Um, just trying to think of who the best football brother pair would be, you know. Oh, cracking finish that. God damn, it's been an inconsistent start to the season, this. Pat. Wisdom. Oh, what a save. What is it about goal gives on facing right now? But they are just absolutely on fire. What a save. Man, what a tough start to the season this has been, man. Seriously, what a tough start. I mean, don't get me wrong. We have only just become a four and a half star, so even making Europe is going to be a heck of a task, but um, I have just not been able to get going to start this season off. Just haven't been able to get it sorted yet. <sighs> First loss at home, still waiting for consecutive wins in the league this season. Tell you what, we've got no chance of making Europe if we can't win these games. This has been such a tough beginning. Right, next up, Wolves away. Going to change my formation for this game here and go 3-5-2. I did say in the last episode I might change formation. We tried this a few years ago and it worked out for us for a brief period of time. So 3-5-2, Reggie and Pat up top together. Janssen as an RCB and Lopez. First time back since the ACL starting CM alongside Kimura. Also Tammy Abraham up top for Wolves in this game. One of my uh, one of my friends um, sent this picture in our little group chat of him celebrating a goal for Roma. It's on his Instagram. I'll uh, I'll try and find it, even link if you want to see it. Um, it's so cold. I love like cold football pictures. Do you know what I mean? Like pictures just go hard. If you know what I mean, you gotta check it out, man. It looks so so cool. What's up? You got? You got? You get? What in, mate? It's a nice ball out wide. Kamura. Oh, you go, mate. Up you go, up you go, up you go. Oh, well in. Can't believe you won that. Lancaster. Oh! Well, uh, that is one of the goals of the save. What a goal! What's that free ball? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, save, Mendes. Gotta close this game out, man. Need to have learned our lesson from last year. That was our big problem. That's easy for Mendes. There we go. There we go. So if we attack down the right really quick here. Oh, this is a golden chance. Oh, Lancaster, you got to finish. Reggie Lancaster. Third goal in two games. No, three games, sorry. You know, the most shocking thing about that Lancaster goal, the first goal. How did McLean win that header against Tammy Abraham? He's like 5'9". Tammy's 6'5". <laughs> That's mental. Come on, don't throw it away now. Well, last year, our problem was surrendering leads and not closing games out. So, if we're going to do that again, we've got to make sure we lead by more than just a one goal. 2-1, so back to winning ways, we'll have it. Stick with the 3-5-2 for the following game. Next up, newly promoted Bournemouth at home. This has to be a banker. No exceptions. Ibrahim, Pat, Reggie. Oh, great touch there. Oh, it should be one. It is. I like this 3-5-2. I must say, I like it. I think that's Bale's regions for the up first of the season. And we take the lead. I love how Reggie got the assist there. I spent a whole year converting him to right wing. He's now got that position as his own. And I'll put him up top for the first time ever. Classic jocks, that. Classic jocks. Reggie is coming to you. And you can finish on cue. <laughs> Classic jocks, mate, honestly. Oh, do you remember who's in the back line for Bournemouth? It's Rivas. Rivas back at the basketball pitch. There he is. There you go, chance for a third. Oh, what a touch, Bow. That's brilliant. That's, oh, that's a pen. All day, every day. I've taken Pat off. So, yes, yeah, Lancaster's going to take. I want, I want to give it a Lopez, though. I want to give it a Lopez. He, um, he, he needs a confidence boost. He's coming back from the ACL. But you know I normally miss pens. But this time I don't. 
First goal since DACL for Afonso. Love to see it. Feet on the ground, feet on the ground. Three wins in four, back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League, but feet on the ground, long way to go. You've got to maintain this sort of form. Red Devils in the Carabao Cup next, but unlike normal, I've picked a strong lineup for this game. We've never got to the quarterfinals of a cup competition. I've got a feeling we could possibly pull off a giant killing here. So we'll probably lose 4-0, but you never know. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, how has that gone in? <laughs> Forget what I said. We're never getting past the last 16, ever. Can't believe that's gone in. Oh, mate, that's shocking goalkeeping, that. Shocking goalkeeping. You know, I say it all the time, like, goalkeeping errors. They've been toned down a bit, to be fair. Um, they used to be a lot more frequent now, but I, I am glad they're in the game because it, it, it is realistic, you know, but it's so frustrating, you know, especially in big games. If we want a realistic game, then we have to expect goalkeeping errors from, from time to time. There's not much you can do about that, though. Right, I'm taking the starters off now. <laughs> Our possible cup set lasted 19 minutes. That is embarrassing. That is absolutely embarrassing. Two goals in 20 minutes, and I've taken my five starters off already. <laughs> I genuinely thought this could be the year, man. 20 minutes! 20 minutes, that's all we could last. Couldn't get half an hour into the game. Fuck the Cups, man. We, we, we can't go far in the Cup. Just, it's, just not, it's just not something that this club knows how to do. Oh, mate. How has that gone in as well? <sighs> not a great start to his career, is it? Might just go ahead and promote our youth goalkeeper now. Can't be worse than this. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Well, you know the score. He actually made a good save in the Cholton game. Um, Stopped to become a 2-0. Had uh, he not made that save, we wouldn't have gone on to a 1 now. But tonight, well, let's just say, facing the Red Devils. Maybe he's a Manchester United fan, who knows? Because... <laughs> Right now, every shot on his goal is going in. Can't do much about that one, but even so. What was I thinking pre-game? Oh, man, not fifth. Not a fifth. It's not clear. This is meant to be my last game today. I'm not ending on this. Docks FC and getting knocked out of the cup competition in the last 16 stage. Name a more iconic duo. That was humiliating. Right, let's bounce back. Yeah, last game today. Leeds at home looking for our third straight win in the Premier League. Hopefully to a better job in that game in midweek. That was embarrassing. Just have not had any sort of form whatsoever this year. It's just been completely random, you know. We go into a game, don't know what to expect. Don't know what to expect. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's a formation thing, lineup thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe I'm just being a bit too ambitious, you know, again, because we are, we are literally only just a four and a half star team. We've literally only just become four and a half star. Oh, Lancaster is on fire. That realistically, with a team of this quality, like, we should be targeting, like, top 10 max. Just like last season, you know? Like, 10th to 8th, which is where we finished last year. We shouldn't be saying, oh yeah, top seven minimum. No, 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 we, we, we haven't got that sort of quality. But instead, I'm, what can I say? I've got high expectations of myself. Which is why I always feel let down when I don't meet them. Maybe I should take this lesson and apply it to my real life. Or maybe I should just work harder. Maybe I should just work harder. Oh, how'd I miss the target? Someone's going to win this, I can just tell. Someone is going to win this. I mean, a better team, I think, but I think... <laughs> That's how you know when you're playing poorly. You can't even tell if you're playing better. Like, you, I, you still feel, even when you're on top. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, how is that stayed out? Oh, God, Lee's just fuck off. Let me beat you. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off, man. Joint top scorer this year now, Reggie. Six in ten. The fact he hasn't scored in his first, I think, six or seven, that, that shows you how good he's been since the position change. 
But the question is, can we now hold on? Kimura well in. That's brave. No, no. Oh, shit. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. <sighs> Fuck everything about everything. This year, it's all about getting to a cup quarter final. Nope. This year, it's all about getting to Europe. Nope. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. I mean, I... I'm just, I, I think I just need to calm myself down. This is pretty much exactly where we should be, but I just want to get to Europe or a cup quarter final, either. I should have shown you the stats, man. 11 shots compared to two, but still couldn't find a win. So frustrating. This has been such an irritating start to the season. Still, we are in the top 10. We're only a point outside the European place, but... I mean, the form this year has been atrocious. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. And I'll see you next episode of Dr. Glory, where hopefully we'll go on a winning run, because Lord knows we need one very soon.